Rainmakers, I hope you are all having a wonderful weekend. I had a wonderful morning knitting and editing a little bit. I still am working on the Pumpkin Mal uh, winner's video. Sorry, it's taking a, a bit longer than I had hoped. <laughs> but, um, but it brings a smile to my face because I get to see me and Gabby and... It's fun, but um, yeah, and now I am at BART, the BART station, you can kind of see there, because I am going to the Dickens Fair, which um, if you watched Vlogmas last year, you might have seen, I think I went last year, that um, the Dickens Fair is an annual kind of big to do at this place called the Cow Palace, <laughs> which is a big kind of convent, not convention center. It actually is um, where they have like farm animals and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, I will put a link down below so you can learn all about the Cow Palace instead of me waffling on about it. But there is a huge I think it's been around for 42 year fair that is an ode to Dickens England, Charles Dickens time England. And, um, and it's so much fun. It's, we don't have a lot of Christmas markets out here. So I would say that this in the Bay area anyway, I would say that this is like our big Christmas market <laughs> with people dressed up as Dickens era characters and there's dancing and people it's like Ren Fair plus Charles Dickens time mashed up together it's so much fun so I'm meeting up my friend Ashley we're doing the twilight hour <laughs> one where the tickets are half off it starts at 3 p.m. I usually go in the morning because the crowds are a little less crazy at this point the crowds will be shifting gears from a lot of kiddos to a lot of the millennials and people who are cuspers like myself <laughs> uh, who wanted to sleep in and get stuff done this morning. I am a little weary of it because I'm really tired. I feel like I'm just now getting caught up after my Star Wars Day extravaganza. <laughs> And I have a lot of knitting that I want to do, but I'm going to take Bart because then I can continue to knit, which will be great. And I probably will only stay for an hour or so, um, so then I can take Bart back and it's not too late. And I can go to bed early and whatnot. So, and I don't have rehearsal tomorrow night. Um, I just have to go into the city to work. Um, I have a lot to do at work though, so... I'm sure this is all very fascinating, <laughs> but I just wanted to check in with you guys. I will show you my progress on BART probably instead of me getting it all out here. I just missed the last train, so I have a little bit of time to kill in the car, so I might knit a little bit, but um, yeah, here we go, Dickens Fair. Let's get some Christmas spirit going. I've got time to kill, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you my progress so I can kind of explain what's going on. So this is my Ander sweater for my nephew. And I joined in the round today. I did quite a bit yesterday. Um, I think when I checked in last, I had like maybe four or six rows to do before I uh, joined in the round. So here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So this is the back and um, there are four little holes for a button band. Let me see if I can show you one. There's one. Be -doop. So I still have to pick out the buttons. I might look in my mom's stash, mom, if you're watching. Because <laughs> she has quite an extensive button stash. So I did like a little three needle, um, not bind off, but you join in the round using three needles to kind of get the flaps together here which was cool first time doing that and then I am maybe about five rows away until I split off for the sleeves which I'm realizing now I don't have any waste yarn to do that so maybe I will I will figure that out I might have to MacGyver that <laughs> because I want to keep knitting as much as possible on the train. So yeah, so, and I'm using one of my little Christmas, 
I think I got this from a homespun house many years ago when Molly was, oh, it's so blown out. Sorry, but it's a little wreath. And I love this yarn. So this is Malabrico. Here's the front of the sweater. I just love how dynamic, the sun is good for it because it's showing how dynamic the colors are. I still think I'm gonna have to not block it, but like soak it a bit. I'm trying to figure out how to do that without it growing. If you have any tips, let me know how to do that without it growing too much before I continue knitting with the white to yarn because I do think this is gonna bleed a little bit. <sighs> but there we go. I'm eager to split off of the yarns. I'm gonna see actually if I can pull from the other side of this yarn ball, maybe this is an indication, and pull out some waste yarn from here. Fingers crossed. I will update you on the progress.
Lizzie Ashley. Yeah. That's hilarious. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me sixty seven five golden wreaths, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six kings of lace, four golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtles, and a partridge in a pear tree. We've attracted all of the chimney sweeps. <laughs> Thank you.